The most famous hippie commune in America has lost its founding father. Stephen Gaskin, who led a caravan of psychedelic buses to a promised land in Summertown, died today at the age of 79. Gaskin had been out of the public eye with vision and health problems for some years, but there was a time when he was making regular and radical headlines in Tennessee and across the nation. We can It was a mind-blowing idea in 1971, a place with no money, no guns, like-minded, long-haired people with an intention to live an organic life. No question, Stephen Gaskin was the leader on the farm, but everyone pitched in. We, we work the same as everybody does. You know, we're not, you know, we're not one of the outfits that go out and catch you in the airport and, uh, and try to you know, give you a paper flower and get $10 from you. Eight years into the experiment, the farm had branched out into printing, construction, solar power, and was breaking even. Locals had accepted them, even if others still questioned their beliefs. Stephen Gaskin could gather a crowd, but said he preached nothing different. Basic mainstream religious theory is reflected in all of the major world religions over the last few thousand years. If the farm had a notorious moment, it was the 1974 raid by authorities bent on finding marijuana. Gaskin said he didn't grow the plants they found, but took responsibility and went to prison for a year. He lost his right to vote, but later took his case to the state Supreme Court and won clearing the way for other ex-cons to vote again as well. Gaskin's farm changed a lot through the years, from a true commune to more of a gated community with dues, but it remained, in his words, transparent and trustworthy. As you guys have been down here about 50 times, and so is the other channels in town, and so is the newspapers, and so is everybody's relatives, and so is all the neighbors, and we're so transparent, everybody's been through us about 40 times, you know? And so there ain't a whole lot of big secrets in us. So everybody are, you know, anybody who says something about the farm that, that, that we're, you know, that we're going to serve poison Kool-Aid or something, there are hundreds and thousands of local Tennessee folks who know we ain't. Stephen Gaskin died today at home, surrounded by his family. The farm has yet to announce any plans for a memorial or a funeral service.